All right. They feared bad luck would plague us this year. Wonderful! What could go wrong? Two crops, two hunting, trade, war, and diplomacy. Our, our, our reputation isn't very high because we don't have many cows. fighting with the Rangani. You have been good to us in the past. They, on the other hand, treated us with great rudeness. If you reward us, well, we will send spirits to lay waste to their crops, lame their horses, and wither their sword arms. Uh, Rangani. How much to lay waste to their crops? Empty cows. There you go. Lay waste to their crops. Also, I will do something mean too because I don't like them. Sacrifice, cause plague. Bring Donnie. Womph. <laughs> That'll learn ya. I hope. Okay, we're back up to season old. like to form an alliance with, uh, somebody. How about the Black Rocks? Oh, we're feuding with them. Maybe not, then. Uh, can we resolve the feud, maybe? No, we're not sending you. I know better than that. Go! Horrible pucks. Of course, if they didn't have a Chanra Anroy Temple, so far the least of the Rangdani didn't know we sent the disease. So, Lurikon introduces the ring to member, members to uh, Orkanzor Bronzebone, the warrior from the Zinthering clan. Orkanzor has been outlawed by that person. Orkanzor says that he doesn't, that he knows Oral Consor well. Oral Consor doesn't want to say why he was outlawed. He is a true and just fellow, so the ruling must be political. We should take him in. Soon, quarters in Lorcan stead. People are happy with the ring's decision. And we have 1,000 people. And only 600 food. And we're going to raid the frick out of the... Ringdani, because I hate them. And we're going to call on the Six Brothers again. Uh... We're gonna get cattle raided. It just happens. Wonder! Uh, we'll have to weaken them a lot more before we can seize their land. Uh, hey, let's try using the burning standard in maneuver. Our forces eagerly followed the burning standard in the battle. Our Danny charged right into a trap we laid for them. It was a short and nasty battle. Their magic was stronger than ours, but our courage was greater. We drove them from the field. We were the plunder of their Tula. 27 cows, 11 horses. We took 8 cows worth of lurt, loot, and that dude that we just brought in distinguished himself during the fighting. Luckily, the burning standard wasn't consumed in the flames. There's a chance every time you use it that it will be. Through our healing magics, they kept everyone from dying. Send nearly all of our wars ring Danny. And saw their chance and stole 16 cows. Send your gifts to the Black Run clan and extended their offer peace. See, their chief is non-committal. And then the Chilantator clan trader seems respect receptive. Their high-ranking weapon thing as born, on the other hand, is clearly imagines himself striking you down on the field of battle. Offer to lend support to a ritual of their choice. Uh, half the clan? Magic was small comfort, and you continued. Talk on it. Skirmish, kill. Oh man, actually, uh, take captive's charge. Uh, maneuver. And we'll use this. <laughs> Burnt our steads. 
weren't able to take any captives. The burning standard was completely consumed in the flames. Oh, you, you guys just did not burn my steads. I'm going to kill you. Seize their land! The sacrifice to Humakt. Aww. Wow. You see, that almost always happens when you sacrifice. They attack while you're still sacrificing. We could do no more than fight in the land we wished to claim, and eventually had to withdraw. And we lost nobody, and they lost even more people. Warrior from Urox is entering, appears in a rage. Yeah, this this event happens every time you take bronze bones in. You besmirched my honor, you must pay with your life, the Uroxy cries, Orcs. Oral Consor is in your clan hall. He refuses to confront the man. I have sworn a sacred vow to Arnaldo that I will not harm him, and we well, if we fight, one of us will surely die. Ask why. That is not your business. This one a sad look from Oral Consor and a crazed laughter from the Uroxy. No peace here. If we drive him off, it's going to be painful, because Urox really love to fight, and they're good at it. You do not get Uroxy on your, uh, clan ring. I don't think you ever get any. Umat is rare enough as it is. Go away. He some more fighters and then said he would leave. Oral Consorg should not consider our dispute settled. I will not violate the sanctity of your clan hall by going in to get him now, but I shall get him. That I swear. By Urox's horns. Fanes and priests from the Anzarni clan come to accuse one of your young female Karos, Arni, of secret murder. We found our revered god talker, Hindala, dead in the temple, a dagger in her back. We asked the spirit of our sacred rock, and it said that your clan had done it. I hold in my hand a sliver of that sacred rock, and it tells me that the woman here is the killer. We demand you outlaws so we can take our revenge for this most, most unholy act. Conducted divination. Signs showed that she was innocent. Her spirit is wrong. We were affronted at first, but gradually conceded that the spirits of even a spirit so great as their rock spirit can sometimes be wrong. We still think she did it, but we will seek further proof before demanding death. That's right. So we weren't able to do much to them, and we can't do anything now, but I can here. Uh, no, I can't afford to lose the goods. Who the heck stole my cattle anyway? The end. Cesare. Punks. I've got the Rangdani weakened, but I shouldn't raid them too much. That's the main thing here. And it's not as easy with after Blacktail passes on. Uh, how about we conduct a trade mission to the Apples? We will send a large one with a few weapon things because this is an important trade mission. We will sell horses and buy cattle. Revenge we bought from the shamans has borne fruit. The Rangdani's crops have failed. They performed the divination who find uh, who to find out who sent the bad spirits against them, but do not seem to suspect us. Ah, starve, starve! Also, uh, if you sacrifice enough to uh, Maringor here, the one who's giving me earth blood, you get blast earth, and you can harm their field yourself, although it's not as effective as the shaman curse. I guess we'll 
guess right now I just want to uh, explore. Let's see if I can find anything else, because there's at least one more resource on the Tula. This is a latest expedition led up to a hill we hadn't climbed yet. We found large fused lumps of iron, which we all know everyone wants. We traded 13 horses for 69 cattle. Dang. Leg is stricken your tool. About 57 have caught the disease so far. They are weak and unable to exert themselves. Some are barely able to remain conscious. They are feverish. More advanced cases also suffer from painful pox, which erupt. Oh boy. Uh, goddess of disease. Uh, how about. This is a curse sent by the Rangdani, I'm sure. This said the sacrifice of success. The Dread Goddess had received our gifts, and now that we give it to her once, she will expect us to keep doing it, they added. However costly our choice, it worked. The people were recovering from the plague. That was a lot of sick people. Our crops did very well this year. How well? Dang! We got a lot of food! Uh, but where's our, uh... up his shrine? No. Darn. I want sure shot, but I also want friend of Yinkin. I need curing here. It's kind of important, but... So we should 54 goods. 54 goods. Okay, I can afford to sacrifice a few more times. Healing. Anyone wounded? Oh, we still have lots of sick people. See, she healed all our wounds. Hey! Let's pursue trade opportunities. Because a rainbow has touched down in one of our fields. As Orlante, you are storm people. And there are few omens as positive as a rainbow. The beautiful gift left by the gods in the wake of a storm. Raiders had said that good luck would turn to silver for years to come. Woohoo! our crafters a little, and also get rid of this last fancy and add iron. You can see there's a spot for one more resource. children. We have enough dang children. We can't build him up, up anymore right now. Uh, can we try to explore again? Try to go quickly, see if we can find anything. Carlos, find the body of one of your four warriors face down in a creek deep within your Tula. It's Oral Consor, who you adopted after he was outlawed by the Zinthrings. He was savagely beaten and skull crushed. His sword lies at his side. It's clean of blood. Divination. Zinthrings. Well, we're at least going to get freaking Weregild from this. Scarcely is Orokonzur's name out of Karash's mouth when Vingulf, the Oroxy warrior who once challenged Orokonzur to a duel, throws a bag of silver rings at your feet. I would pay a world good twice if I were to be rid of that scoundrel. Treat the matter as closed. Because it's not going to do any good to get mad about it. 73 more head of cattle. 108. Uh, cows worth of goods in our market went for 36 cows worth of goods. 23 few, 24 fewer people, though, because of that plague. Serious business, those plagues. It's just like the one we sent to them, actually. <laughs> 30 nobles. We lost a noble. But not one of the... Oh, yeah, it actually popped up. As long as we remember his poetry, he will not be forgotten. 
hey, the hunters are doing better now. 138 instead of 160. Forest, where we hunt game. We need to increase the patrols, but I'll do that next time. So, this has been several sessions of King of Dragon's Pass. I hope you guys are digging it. I will talk to you all later on, alright? Bye-bye for now.